What's up, Yes Gaming? Robert the Bruce here, bringing you another video. Today it is Grand Bazaar Rush Defense. And I'm actually on vacation right now, and I'm still bringing you videos. And that's the kind of channel I like to run. A um, couple of things I want to look at the class I'm running first. I think it's real important uh, to pick the right class in every map, and this one is no different. Um, especially like to focus in on using a shotgun and a claymore. I really like running the support class for this map. Um, the ammo is huge. Being able to keep ammo down and keep your guys with grenades going um, is, is definitely a big one. Being able to reload your claymores is big. And the claymores I like because you can guard multiple paths, guard your flank, really come in handy. And there's a lot of close quarters battles here, so I like the shotgun. Um, you know, whatever shotgun you like the best, go with that. I'm, I'm using the spaz with slugs here to give myself a little more range if I need it, but mostly just want to be able to put people down because I'm charging into some pretty tight areas and I need to, to do some damage uh, pretty fast. So that's the setup I'm running. There's a lot of bottlenecks on this first set of MCOMs. It's pretty much all it is. So if you can control these bottlenecks and keep the enemy pushed out of it and constantly frustrated like they can't get in, um, you're going to win the game. It's as simple as that. And if they push through and get you bottlenecked, you're going to lose. And that's what it boils down to. There's not a lot of multiple routes in to different areas. Um, pretty much each uh, side of the map has a route. There's one route down the middle. And you lock those down and, and you got the game. Now, it's very important to um, watch both sides and switch sides as needed. Because... Uh, it's easy for one side to get overwhelmed if you're not paying attention and suddenly half your team isn't paying attention. There's just a couple of guys at the other MCOM and, and they get overwhelmed. And once you lose one MCOM on this first set, it's really tough to hold the last one because they just gained another route in and you easily spread your resources too thin. Now you're gonna see me, I just did it right there and I do it throughout this entire video. Almost every time I stop and set up shop somewhere, I immediately toss down ammo. Now even if I've got my claymores and my shotgun fully loaded and I'm not really in need of it, I'm always throwing grenades. I think it's just a good idea. They don't do you any good if you die with them. So chunk those grenades as soon as you can. And with the ammo always sitting there ready to go, um, you kind of keep a constant supply of grenades going. You can spam grenades to a high traffic area. Uh, you can use it to test out and see if there's a guy hiding in a certain spot. And you'll kind of listen to the enemy calls out for a grenade if it lands near them. Uh, there's all sorts of things that, uh, other than obviously just killing them, that a grenade can do to really help your guys out. Push them back, you know, they'll see the flashing indicator and they'll kind of back off a little bit from a zone. Um, so keep that in mind. Always drop ammo quick if you're running support like I do. The other big point I would tell you is um, this is not a map for cowards who like to sit away from the action um, to protect themselves. You've got to get out there and get in it. You're going to die. You're going to get a lot of kills. It's just the way this map works uh, with Rush uh, on defense or offense. So don't be afraid. Get out there. Um, get in the mix of it. You're going to have to. Otherwise, you're just going to be worthless for your team. Um, and if you end with a negative kill-death ratio, but you were in the thick of it the whole time and your team wins, you know, who cares? That's great. You were, you were trying. You'll probably be towards the top because of your points anyway with ammo or revives or whatever. So... Don't be afraid to get in there and uh, do whatever damage you can. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, if you've got a video suggestion, uh, let me know. Uh, Battlefield 3 has been out for over a year now, so I'd love to hear what you guys want to see. Um, leave me a comment here or shoot me a message at yeshgaming.com. There's a contact form there. And uh, I'd love to hear what you uh, are interested in seeing or learning about. A rush doesn't really apply because you're really up close to the enemy spawn. But, you know, regardless, normal games, you know. Only rookies camp the enemy spawn.